You don't have to forgive your abuser. Like seriously, you don't have to forgive the person that has abused you. Forgiveness is so misunderstood in the world, not just the spiritual community, but in any sort of self-help community. If you're on a path of self-development, no doubt you've heard that you need to forgive because your goal and what you need to go towards is forgiveness. Now that's not entirely accurate. Forgiveness is not actually the goal. It's the outcome of the goal. The goal is to let go, let go of the pain that you've been holding onto, which is how you've learned to stay safe. Keep your yourself safe in the moments where it was extremely distressful for you. This is just the way humans work. But because forgiveness is an outcome of the goal, it's very understandable that we all see like, oh, okay, so all I need to do is forgive because that's what everyone else is going towards and that's what everyone's communicating. But then it's extremely extremely invalidating to your pain when you're told that all you got to do is forgive. Not only that, but society don't actually understand what forgiveness is. And what I mean by that is this version of forgiveness that most people are subscribing to. Because we've lived lives where we were brought up in a world where if we argued with a sibling or another child or anyone, there'd be this element of, okay, you got to make up and get on with each other. Regardless of what your boundaries are, regardless of how you feel, regardless of what happened, you have to make up and just get on with each other. So there's an element of that experience when we think about forgiveness. We think about forgiveness as, oh, okay, I have to be okay with what happened to me and just allow the other person to get away with it and just continue on the way things were, like everything's okay. That's most people's view of forgiveness, but that's insane. You do not need to forgive the person that abused you because no one in the world can forgive for wanting to or choosing to. Forgiveness is not a choice. The goal is to get to a place where you are going towards and understanding the parts of yourself that have the pain in relation to the person that you're being told to forgive. That person will no doubt trigger pain within you, but that's within you. It's in your inner world. And that's very, very normal. It's how we work. There's nothing wrong going on within you. You're not broken and you're not incapable. You're working exactly exactly the way you should be. And yes, it sucks. I'm not here trying to tell you that this is easy and you should just get on with it. The reason it feels terrible when someone says all you need to do is forgive that person and move on is because it's a huge invalidation to your pain. So what you need to do is the opposite. You need to validate your pain. The first movement towards that is understanding that you don't have to forgive anyone because it is not a choice, but you can make a choice to go towards the actual goal, which is understanding your pain, integrating these parts of yourself and letting go of that pain. The outcome of that will eventually, eventually get you to a place in your life where you're not holding on to as much pain in relation to that person and therefore won't really care anymore. And what I mean by care is that it won't be as strong and powerful within yourself. The pain won't be as intense and you'll eventually get to a place where we can define it as forgiving. But again, not the version of forgiving that society has programmed into all of us. Even if you get to a place of forgiving someone through letting go, you'd never ever need to let that person back in your life. You never ever need to be okay with what happened to you. You never ever need to be okay if a behavior is there and you don't want it to be there. It's completely okay to set boundaries. We are creatures of needs and the reason we hold on to our pain is because we have unmet needs. In the moments we had the experiences where our pain manifested was because of unmet needs in that moment. Whether that need is for safety, whether it's for love, whether it's the need to be heard. The way you let go is you learn how to explore and understand these parts of yourself to then to be able to understand what unmet need that they have and then learn how to meet that need in a healthier way. This is how you let go. If you want to learn more about how to let go and go deeper into that understanding, you can watch my free masterclass titled The Importance of Self-Awareness. Put a link for that in the description below. The goal is to validate yourself. And if you ever try and force yourself to do something, you're invalidating yourself to some degree. And to simplify it, this is simple, not easy. Your pain comes from invalidation, invalidation from others and yourself. So your goal is to learn how to validate 
yourself. And through validating yourself, you will be able to get to these parts of yourself in order to let go of the pain that you've learnt to hold on to as a way of staying safe. In the moments, it was extremely unsafe for you. Have a lovely rest of the day.